trip! Road trip, 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 People right next to us think we're weird. Hi. Good morning, fam. It's a great day. I, uh, I avoided making probably an irresponsible technical purchase this morning of a new gadget. And I'm very proud of myself for not giving in to that consumerist desire I had this morning. Uh, but right now, I am, uh, Sweet Bear and I, we're leaving tonight. Uh, we're leaving a little early because we're driving down to Hilton Head, which is going to be a long drive, so we're splitting it up between two days. And so we're leaving tonight, so we got a lot of stuff to get taken care of. And right now, I am going to have lunch with Matthew Siler. Let's do it. Matthew's right there. I'm gonna go surprise him. I see you're as early as I am for this get together. What's up, fam? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Light. Okay, hey everybody. I'm done with my uh, my lunch with Matthew. It was good to see him. It was good to talk and chat. We chatted about life and then just a project that he's doing this summer. The camp that Sweet Bear and I worked at last summer, Matt is sort of running that camp this year. So he was asking me sort of my thoughts and advice on a few things because he's sort of where I was at last year. So um, anyway, now I gotta get going because I have like several errands to run before I go pick up my wife named Erin. It's weird for me to just call her Aaron, but anyway, I'm getting in the car now, so I gotta go. I love you all. Here we go. I'm all done with my errands now. Got everything fixed. Now I'm just searching the mall for my wife, who is shopping somewhere, no doubt. Hey. I was just about I to miss. Call you. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. All right. We are about to embark on a journey. Journey to uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina. Actually, tonight we are driving to Lexington, Kentucky. It's about six hours. Getting a drive to Lexington. We have to stop at Target quick. Oh yeah? yeah. For what? Road trips next. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now we're ready to go. Hey y'all, how you doing? We are currently stuck in traffic, but we uh, we just crossed over the border of Indiana. Excited to be here, Indiana. We're driving straight south. We still have like five more hours of our trip if this traffic lets up soon, which I hope it does. But in the meantime, we thought we would discuss a topic. Are you ready, Sweet Bear? Mm -hmm. So this topic came from a discussion we were having, when was it? Yesterday. Yesterday, I think. Yesterday. Um, a, a couple that we know sort of what we're acquaintances with we sort of know them from traveling they we saw on instagram that they just had their first child um and we were just talking about sort of you know every time we even mention like children on the vlog everyone's like when are you having kids are ah, you pregnant are you pregnant like sweeper can't have like a headache without the world thinking she's pregnant or a burger let's be honest yeah <laughs> so we, uh, we were having a discussion about it and about, you know, having kids and when we want to have kids and, and our philosophy on it and, you know, all that stuff. And I was saying how it feels like for me, every time I go and I travel somewhere, I'll meet a lot of people, specifically guys my age, whether they be a youth pastor or a worship leader, and they're all around, you know, 
the, some are young, you know, young 20s, some are mid 20s, some are, you know, 30. But it's very rare for me to meet one who is married who does not have kids. Continue on I-80 East. We will. So rude. We will. Uh, it's very rare for me to meet one that is married but does not have kids. A and the question that I always get is, oh, how long have you and your wife been married? And I say, well, almost two years, because you're almost married two years now. And then they'll say, uh, do you have any kids yet? And I'll say, no. And I'll ask them, and they'll say, yeah, we've been married a year. We just had our first kid. And I find it's really rare, at least in the circles that I've traveled in, to find a couple our age or that gets married and then waits a couple years to have kids. So I thought we could talk about that. <laughs> yeah, well first, like I feel like it's such a cliche, like young Christian couple to get married really young. And like we were totally in that cliche, which yeah. I really hate that we were in that cliche, but we had dated for so long. So anyways, it just kind of worked out that we got married young. Um, but I don't know with I was telling John, like, I equate, like, getting married and having babies as two completely separate life stages. And that just because you're ready for one does not mean, just because you're ready to get married does not mean you're ready to have kids. And that's where we totally are for, like, a lot of different reasons. And we can talk about those. Yeah. Okay. I think one is because we want to spend this season like not only enjoying our marriage but learning how to be married mm -hmm. and like spend time together like I know once kids come it's like oh yeah I see all about the kids I joked with you I joked with you like I'm already second place to our dog like as soon as we have kids I'm gonna be third place fourth place fifth place however many kids we have um so yeah I think that that's that's a big reason honestly mm -hmm. uh is because we want to spend time together and another reason is just because I don't think we feel ready from a from a life standpoint as far as financially or where we're at in our careers and, and or where all of we those live. Things. Yeah, like, we it's, basically chose where we live, and our you know life is set up in a certain way, finances included, that doesn't include a baby. <laughs> um, also, like I always tell us to jump, but like I'm not ready to. <laughs> not like once a baby comes that baby is the most important thing mm -hmm. and it is more important than yourself right and I don't think either of us are ready for that yet. no <laughs> I'm still getting used selfish. to you being more important exactly than like you know we're focused on this also like John travels so much I love to go with him when I can mm -hmm. like or this trip we're going on right now like if we had a baby it would have been like whoa 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 a whole different yeah thing even though I do want to travel with our kids yeah. a lot when we have kids yeah. but and so I think I think the fact that at least from my experience the fact that we are married and are waiting and we plan on waiting a couple more years at least, at least two more years before we have kids uh, and I think that makes us a bit of an anomaly especially in the Christian world mm -hmm. and it's something that perhaps a lot of people don't get and understand because you know they equate getting married with having children and I personally don't think there is anything wrong with getting married and having kids right away. No. I'm not. If that's what you feel is right for totally, you. Totally. Like, all four. I look, I look at these people who are having kids and I'm, a part of me is jealous. I'm like, oh, I can't wait. Like, I can't wait to hopefully, you know, I, I, I recognize that there are fertility issues and that that is common and that God does not necessarily bless everyone with the ability to conceive children. I am fully aware of that, so I don't take any of it for granted that it's gonna happen. But I'm very excited for the possibility of that happening. But for us, what we found in our marriage and what we're moving towards and, and our conviction right now is that it's it's not the right time. Mm -hmm. It's not that we don't want it. And I think if it. we did have kids right now, like it would be great, but it would yeah. be a lot harder than if we waited a few years yeah. and had kids. Like the adjustment, you know, all sorts of things would be a lot harder. The amount of views we would get on the vlog. Would be a lot more. Oh probably. yeah, like I would love to whore my child out for views. <laughs> anyway, that was the little topic we were talking about we sure. thought we'd share, because John's right. And those of you that are married, you know, the second you get married, everyone's like, okay. Yeah, when are you having kids? I was like, well, not quite yet. Or maybe for you it is. 
right now, you know? Um, but I'm interested to hear specifically from the married folks out there, comment down below. What has been your, what was your experience with it? When you got married, did you have kids right away? Did you not? Do you wish you would have waited a little longer if you did? Uh, you know, I, I'm interested to hear stories from people. Um, and then if you're not married, what has been, like what has been your experience and your expectation that has been set in your head? Like do you foresee yourself like as soon as you get married, you're definitely gonna have kids? Obviously you might not know right now, but I'm interested in people's thoughts and opinions, specifically those who, who are married. The traffic has let up. Yeah, and you're going slow. Am I? I'm sorry. Yes. Sweetheart has been criticizing my driving. Because you've been driving like a crazy person. Absolutely.